Number 3, the product of two rational numbers is minus 28 by 81. Here, how many number we have? Two of them. What did we do? We multiply them. After we multiply, we get to be minus 28 by 81. Then one of the number, we already have it as minus 4 by 15. What to do? We have to find the other. Okay. Uh, the product, when we, after we multiply 2, we get this much. One of them, we get to be minus 4 by 15. We have to find the other. Here you have product. I mean multiply. If suppose we have to spread them, we take the other side, then it will become my Oh, sorry, become product multiply. If you take the other side, it become divide. So to get the other number, we have to divide the product by one of the number. So to get the other number, what to do? We take the product. We divide by the other number. Okay, because suppose you have first number into second number equal to sum 28 by 81 so if you want a second number this is multiply if you take it aside it will become divide so the same one will apply here to get the other number we have to take the product divide by the other number so you already know the rules one we have divide what to do we have to convert it to multiply when we convert to multiply, this one will go now upside down. Since there is minus, let's put it inside bracket. Okay. So here you have minus, minus, we can cancel. 4, you can divide by 28, we get 7. Right. Then 15, we have 3 into 5. 81, we have 3 into 27. We have 3, no? So that means we can divide by 3 both sides, okay? 3 will come from your own brain. So it will be 3 into what we have here. 3, 2, 6, 3, 7. Here you'll have 27. Then there 3 into 5. Then 4 we already cancelled. So 1. So that means 7 into 5, 35. 27 into 1 will be 27. So that means the other number is equal to 35 by 27. Next we'll see question 5. We have in a school 5 by 7 of the students they are boys and 300 they are girls. What we have to find? We have to find the number of boys in the school. As the student mean include both boys and girls so we don't know the total number of students so in this case it is little complicated so what to do we will take the number of students that mean boys and girls together will be equal to x then girls we know it is equal to 300 then boys here they already say that it is equal to 5 by 7 of the student 5 by 7 of the student student here mean the total that is x okay so let us see how to calculate to get this. So what to do? The total number of students. We take it to be X. Okay. Then number of boys. They already say no. 5 by. You have there. 5 by 7 of the student. So we write it as. 5 by 7. Of the student mean. We already have here. Student mean X. Of mean multiply X. Number of girls. Already written to be. 300 so if we use our common sense we can clearly say that if we plus both the number of boys and the number of girls it will be equal to total number of students okay so you already know the number of boys we have them from here 5 by 7 of x then the number of girls we know it is equal to 300 then it will be equal to total number of students. We already take it to be x. So now here you see you have fraction. Here there is no x. There we have x. So what to do? x and x take it that side. This is plus. If you take the side it will become minus. So 300 will be left alone. Okay. 
so it will become x minus 5 by 7 x once we have fraction okay with minus what to do we have to find the lcm of denominator here you have 1 1 and 7 so definitely the lcm will be 7 okay so the lcm of 1 1 7 it will be equal to 7 so what to do since we have both side here we will multiply all this by 7 separately okay so 300 by 1 into 7 since we have equal we can do that no problem okay but multiply both side 7 minus 5 by 7 x into 7 remember from where i get the 7 it is the lcm and the rest they are from the question so 1 divide 7 will be 7 7 into 300 we will have 2100 then 1 divide 7 7 7 into x 7x minus 7 divide 7 we get 1 1 into 5 we will get 5 so 2100 7x minus 5x we'll have it as 2x now we want only x so this 2 here we have multiply we can bring it this side that means we have to divide 2100 0, 0, we divide by 2 so pause the video and divide it yourself okay 2 1s are 2 1 and 2 1 is greater oh sorry 2 is greater we have to go with 0 5 0 so that means the total number of student that means both boys and girls it is equal to 1050 but remember we want the number of boys so you can do two way to find the numbers of boys okay you can do 1500 uh, minus this one or you can replace here it's up to you okay you can do it both side you can either minus it or you can replace there so you make a choice okay you can do this one minus 300 or you can do this way also 7 if you divide here 717357570 so 5 into 0 0 5 5 25 5 1 5 7 so the number of boys will be 750 so if you do this way also same if you minus 1050 minus 300 also the answer come to be the same